All right, what is going on, everyone? Thank you all so much for stopping by the Card Dojo. My name is Sean, and this is my journey into modern day card collecting. Well, guys, it's the weekend. In fact, it is Saturday. We're doing updates, news, and mail. I'm filming in two parts because I cannot wait to see what's in here, guys. This is a redemption from Panini in a mysteriously unmarked box. Uh, from one of the first products released this year, guys, this is from Legacy. And if I'm not mistaken, I got this from uh, a Brothers and Cards box. Ezekiel Elliott, and this card, guys, let's just flip it. On a count of three, one, two. It is actually uh, Michael Mika Parsons. Autographs, future patch autographs, uh, Ruby. So without further ado, let's, how do you open this thing? Um, I don't know. There we go, okay. And we have a bag, so that was anticlimactic. Here we go, let's open up the bag and see what we got. Will it be the right way on the count of three? One, two, three. There we go, guys. A team futures for Mika Parsons. Not bad. Gets a nice little panini treatment with a, a one touch. Uh, the benefits, I suppose, of having a redemption. It looks like they fit a little second color in there. Two color patch. Uh, Mika, Mika Parsons. And this is numbered, I do believe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 18 out of 100 so there we go not bad uh, it is vertical very nice very shiny so yeah good auto all right there we go thank you panini now i will film the rest of this episode in a couple days uh i just couldn't wait to get that okay that's not good that's not safe could not wait to get this unboxed guys there we go okay be right back all right, guys, I am back a couple days later and a few hours late, but um, here we are. So, um, February 25th is the release of Pokemon Brilliant Stars, the newest set. Um, the big Pokemon YouTubers already got it because, you know, they're special. But um, I'm going to get it next Friday. But in the meantime, guys, because I have missed out on every product since uh, Battle Styles, I ordered... Well, I already had this one. You know, you saw this last time. So that's one that I have that I'm going to rip on Monday. Uh, President's Day. We're going to call it Pokemon President's Day because they both start with the letter P. Uh, and that's about it. So what I've actually got new, guys, is uh, Chilling Rain. Uh, these are all ETBs. So I missed Chilling Rain. Uh, I missed Evolving Skies. And I also missed uh, the Celebrations. So we have an ETB of every product that I have missed. I have not ripped any packs from any of these products yet, including this Fusion Strike that I've been holding on to. So on Monday, we're going to rip all four of these. We're going to have some kind of like Royal Rumble battle. And uh, yeah, hopefully have a lot of fun. And then Friday, we will have the uh, the booster box of Brilliant Stars uh, Pokemon release day rip here at the Card Dojo. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and then maybe hopefully uh, on a Wednesday, we'll, we'll kind of break up the Pokemon with some kind of sporting uh, training card, maybe football, if uh, I have it. I know, um, you know, not everyone here is into to the little monsters, but uh, I do enjoy them, so, you know, maybe give them a chance. Anyway, moving on to the weekly, uh, the Retail Warrior weekend wrap-up, guys, where we go over the Target Marts, that's Target and Walmart combined, uh, cleverly. Uh, finally, guys, finally, Mosaic Football was available nationwide on Tuesday um, around, I would say, probably around like 7.40-ish a.m. Tuesday at uh, Target.com. Obviously, uh, if you've been following, maybe if you're in the Discord for the Card Dojo, uh, link in the description, you know that you know, typically Target loads and drops cards between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern. So, um, And for me, typically I find, find them mostly on Tuesdays. Now, there hasn't been a good drop in about three weeks, so we were anticipating a good one. And then, finally, Mosaic showed up. They had only the Cellos, but they did have a limit of 12 versus 3, which they had for the NBA. Now, NBA Cellos lasted for a while. There was no rush to get them. Uh, so, when I added my first Mosaic Cello of NFL to my cart, I mistakenly clicked the wrong button that just added one. Had to go back to continue shopping, click on it again, get to the drop-down menu, then I saw you could add 12. I was like, oh man, do I add 12? Will my order get canceled? Because typically if you order more than three, your order would be canceled. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just play it safe and order five. And then the time that I was debating myself in my head, they sold out. Uh, four minutes and all of the uh, Mosaic Football Cellos were gone. So many people did get 12 who just kind of like acted on instinct and just 
grad 12 and checked out. Uh, me being a, a dummy, debating internally whether or not my order would get canceled, I, I missed it completely. So, yeah, uh, there's that. However, now, that sold out in four minutes, guys. Everything else had a pretty, you had a pretty decent chance at getting. So, if you were there, obviously, right when it goes from backloaded to dropped and released. So, uh, NBA, or, you know, Mosaic Basketball Megas were finally out on target. I got three of them. They were red card exclusive. The only thing I noticed that was, was red card exclusive, maybe they also had 2021-22 uh, hoops blasters. I should correct myself. I didn't go for those, though. Uh, but they were available. Um, Football-wise, Rookies and Stars Retail made his first appearance on Target's uh, website. They dropped the hangers for 20 bucks, and they had 60 cards. The blasters for 30 bucks, which had 70 cards, so just like 10 bucks more for 10 extra cards in the blaster. I think hangers might be the bangers in this situation. Either way, we got two of them. So whenever they show up, uh, Target has not shipped them yet. Whenever they show up. Uh, we'll compare the blasters to the hangers to see which one you should get. They are still available on Target uh, at this very moment. Uh, additionally, what they had that did sell out maybe about half an hour, I would say maybe a little bit less, was what they're calling a, a trading card box. Uh, the rest of the world will call it a mega box, but for some reason they just want to call it a very gene generic trading card box. Okay, uh, But I'm going to call it a mega box, so we got a couple of those on the way as well. Uh, Walmart kind of had the basic, um, I think they just released a couple of Megas for Illusions and, you know, Walmart is just like, uh, Terminatorville, Bot City, uh, you need to have, uh, Hackers and, uh, Wally on your side if you're gonna get anything at Walmart. Uh, at least Target, you have a chance. So I always recommend Target, uh, between 7 to 8 a.m., uh, usually more along the line 7.30, 8am Eastern Time, uh, especially on Tuesdays. Now we had a big drop this week, does that mean we won't see anything for the next two weeks? Who knows? But uh, pop on if you're uh, awake and conscious enough to uh, remember your credit card number. Alright, uh, so that was it. Uh, back onto like the kind of like the mosaic search, I keep on searching eBay to see when it's being released uh, in the wild, uh, in store, brick and mortar. People actually go into the stores and finding them. If people were finding blasters in Walmarts, um, at least in a big, kind of a bigger area, they would be on eBay, but they're not. Uh, with the exception of the one guy who put them up on January 27th. Other than that one guy, eBay has not had any kind of mosaic blasters or megas or cellos. Well, cellos are starting to trickle on pre-order from, from Target, obviously. But otherwise, I would say it's pretty safe to say that... Uh, Mosaic has not hit the shelves yet. Just from what I can tell, if they did, they would be on eBay. So my belief is they have not really had a widespread release across the shelf. So I'm still looking for them. Hopefully, maybe we'll get lucky. All right, uh, Top Series 1 also is released, uh, finally. But are they even playing baseball this year? I don't know. I don't keep up with it. You tell me in the comments, please. I I'm actually curious. All right, guys, and wrapping up this episode, the one bit of news, the one bit of news that I'll discuss because I am predominantly a football fan. Uh, congratulations to the Los Angeles Char uh, Rams. <laughs> Not the Chargers, jeez. Uh, the Rams, uh, you know, they, they beat Joey Burr. They sent him back to Ohio. And I like to say the guys that I am claiming some hand in this, guys, because it was here at the Card Dojo that we discovered that there is, in fact, an active curse on uh, a gentleman named Jared Goff. If you've been subscribed to this channel, you know that, you know, there is an absolute curse. It is true. It is real. And uh, once we got rid of the curse here at the dojo, things kind of got better. And uh, as we can see, here's some more. As we can see from what the uh, Rams did, they got rid of Jared Goff and they instantly won a Super Bowl. Yes, he did take them there before. But this is a current curse, a current curse of Goff. Um, we got rid of it here at the dojo in a Halloween episode last year. The Rams followed suit. They followed it in my footsteps, and because of that, they are now Super Bowl champions. Uh, Matt Stafford came over to LA, met Koopa Cup, and within a minute, they had an instant connection. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. That will go on to lead them to be Super Bowl champions. Uh, the Rams played it like, you know, we're going to win it big now. We're going for the win. We're getting these veterans. We're going to get it done. This is our year, and you know what? They, they did it. So congrats. They actually... They pulled it off, they did what they needed to do, and they are the Super Bowl champions. Koopa Cup uh, cards now on the, the Dojo eBay. Uh, so we can buy more hobby boxes. All right, so that's it, guys. 
next week, Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon. If you're not a fan of the little monsters, maybe possibly a rip on Wednesday. But if not, guys, don't worry. The rest of March is going to be loaded with uh, mostly football, a lot of basketball, and we'll try to get some Series 1 baseball just to uh, sprinkle it in there. That's what we do. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for stopping by, and take care.